So this video is all about Apple Music, but before I dive into how the application works, I need to go over a few things with you. So bear with me because this short intro will help you decide if this video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the channel. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, buying a record was an exciting thing. I'd save up my money and I'd go to the record store and buy the album. I would put it on my turntable and listen while I read the liner notes. And over the years, I collected a lot of records and I still have them. For a short while, 8-track tapes came along and they were pretty cool. I had an 8-track in my car and carried around this big case full of tapes. When I was in college, somebody broke into my car and stole all of them, but 8-tracks faded when cassettes came along and I bought a cassette recorder and I recorded my favorite albums onto the cassettes, and I bought some new cassettes too, but the quality of the sound wasn't very good and the tapes degraded over time. Then in the late 80s, CDs came on the scene, and man, I really loved them. No more scratchy sounds or needle skips. They were small, portable, lasted a long time if you took care of them, and to me, they sounded great. And I replaced most of my record collection with CDs, and I still have a ton of them. Then a number of years ago, companies like Spotify sprang up, and you could stream or listen to music on demand. So if I wanted to listen to the Beatles, I could do just that. Kind of like radio, but no commercials. And I could make up my own playlists. No need to find a CD or record, and no need for a record player or even a CD player. But these streaming services are not free, and that was a big problem for me. If I stopped paying for the service, I couldn't listen to the music. I had nothing to show for the money I spent. At least when I bought a record or tape or a CD, it was mine to listen to whenever I wanted. But not so with streaming services. Then I bought a new iPad, and Apple included a free month of Apple Music, which is Apple's streaming service, and so I tried it. And I absolutely loved it. I listened to songs I hadn't heard in 30 years. So I signed up for the service, which at the time of the making of this video was about 10 bucks a month. And now I pay $120 a year for Apple Music. Depending on what you buy, that's about eight to 12 CDs. I usually bought about a half a dozen CDs a year. So this costs a little bit more, but man, all I can say is it's more than worth it. Besides, buying CDs is getting harder and harder because very few companies make them. I now have HomePods around the house, and I simply ask Siri to play whatever artist I'd like to listen to. And there are literally millions of songs. And my wife and I have enjoyed listening to music we've not heard since we were kids in high school. And I don't have to put a record on the record player and turn a bunch of dials on the amp, nor do I have to slip in a CD. I just ask Siri to play a song, and out it comes. So... Now you know what a streaming service is, and if Apple's music streaming service sounds like something you're interested in, or at least learning a little bit about, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Apple Music's free 30-day trial, and then, you know, of course, how to cancel it if you don't want it. I'm going to show you how to create a playlist and folders, how to listen to music genres on radio stations, and while this is not a video about the HomePod, I'll show you how to use AirPlay to stream music to a HomePod. And then lastly, and maybe best of all, how to use Siri to play music of your choosing. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to show you is just how to sign up for Apple Music. And here's how you do it. First thing you do is you open the music app, which is this little note on this red icon. And it may take you here or it may take you there. Who knows where you'll land up, but you want to go to listen now. And typically, right at the top, you'll get an advertisement to sign up for free music, at least for one month. So that's what we're going to do. So all you do is tap on it. And in this case, I just put my thumb there, and it's processing payment. And it says, tell us what you're into. Uh, I'm going to say... R&B, rock, hits, country, dance, blues, jazz, pop, uh, classic rock. Then I'll hit next. And it'll say add an artist. I think I'll add maybe James Taylor. Here we go. 
and I think I'll add Boz Skaggs and Elton John, Keith Urban. You can slide it around, and of course, you got to add Billy Joel. Then I'll click Done. And that's how you sign up for Apple Music and set it up. Maybe you set it up and this thing just isn't for your liking. Let me show you quickly how to cancel. All you do is you go back into Apple Music. You tap on the little icon that shows a person here in the right corner. That represents you. And you can go to Account Settings. Touch ID. Go to Subscriptions. Go to Apple Music and click on Cancel Free Trial. I'll put Not Now. But that's how you cancel your subscription. Pretty simple. So the next thing I want to show you is how to add music to your library and how to create a playlist from the music you've added to your library. And it's really pretty simple. So you just open the music app and as you can see I even when I tap on the little toggle for library, I don't have anything in my library. So I have to add some music to my library and I can do that from the Apple Music plan that I just signed up for. So I'm going to search for something. So I'll go over here and I'll type on and make sure it's on Apple Music. I'll type in James Taylor and I'll hit search. And I'm going to click on James Taylor Artist and let's see. Maybe I'll add Live at the Troubadour. And to add this to your library, you just hit the little plus up there, like that. And now it's been added to your library. And if you go over here, you'll see recently added that record that we just tapped on. So let's add some more music. We'll go back and we're going to search again. And this time I will search for, let's say, Billy Joel. I'll hit search. I'll type on Billy Joel Artist and we'll see what comes up. Uh, how about Glass Houses? That's a good record. So we're getting, again, we'll tap on the plus and we'll add that. It's added to the library. And if we go over to recently added in my library, you can see the two albums that I just added. Now, to create a playlist, you'll tap on the little uh, arrow there to open it up, and you'll tap on New Playlist, and we're going to call this um, My Favorites. And then you'll click down, and then we're going to click on Add Music, and we'll go to Library, and we'll just go to songs. So we got all the songs in here. So I'm going to choose You May Be Right, Blossom, Close to the Borderline, So Far Away, of course, Fire and Rain, and You've Got a Friend. And then I'm going to tap on Done. And then I'll tap on Done again. And so now, if you go to My Favorite Playlist, the songs we just tapped on are right there. And to listen to them, all you'll do is just tap on it, and it starts playing. Just as simple as that. Can't play too much of that, or YouTube doesn't like the violating the copyright laws of music. But you can see all of the songs that I've added to the playlist. And you can download just as many albums as you want, put them in your library, and then create your own playlist so you get an idea of just how wonderful that can be. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to listen to a genre of music. Maybe you don't want to have to create an exact playlist. You just want to listen to some music, maybe some smooth jazz. So if you tap on search, go up to the search bar and just type smooth jazz. And click search button. 
Here you can see a smooth jazz playlist and you can just tap on the song and listen to it just like that. Maybe a, maybe a different one like that. Or maybe you want to search for classical music, classical piano, and hit search. And here you go. It's really just as simple as that. And that, and that is how you just search for a music genre and listen to the music that Apple brings up. Pretty simple, really. All right, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to airplay. So you have an iPad like this, and you have a HomePod or you have a speaker that you want to airplay to. Your iPad can send the music to the speaker, and that's called AirPlay. So let's tap on some music. And now this is playing. And if you tap on where the song is down here, it brings the whole thing up. We'll turn the volume down. And if you tap on this little circle with a triangle at the bottom, this will tell you where you can airplay to. Right now it's playing on my AirPod. But if I want to play it on my HomePod Mini 2, I can tap on that. And now it's playing on my HomePod Mini 2. You can't hear it, of course, because I don't want to violate the copyright laws, but that's how you simply send music from your iPad over to a HomePod. And of course, if you want to change that, you can just go back to the iPad by tapping on it. It's as simple as that. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is probably the coolest thing of all, and that's simply asking Siri to play music for you. You can go in and download music and search for it, and you can create playlists and do all of that. And if you're sort of a nerdy person, that's a fun thing to do. But if you just want to listen to some music, you can just ask Siri to play some music for you. Hey Siri, play some Steely Dan. Now playing Steely Dan on Apple Music. You can always ask me to switch to a different app. Your choices will help me learn the ones you like. Hey Siri, stop. You can tell Siri to stop playing. Hey Siri, play some James Taylor. James Taylor now playing. And it's really as simple as that. You can ask for artists. But you can also ask for just top hits. Hey Siri, play some disco. Okay, here's Disco Station. And of course you get Casey and the Sunshine Band. Would you expect anything different? And that's how you use Siri to ask for music. And when you have a HomePod, you can simply speak to the HomePod. You don't even have to have your iPad in front of you. Apple Music is, a, is an entire ecosystem and it works with the speakers, your HomePods, your iPhone, and your iPad. It's, uh, it's just a great system. So this is a lot of information, but if you're a music lover and can afford the cost and don't mind messing around with a music app until you learn how to use it, man, then you're going to love this. I listen to music each morning. I have Apple CarPlay in my car and I listen to music while I drive right from my iPhone. It just doesn't get any better than that. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.